it's Sarah and I have a project share. It was so fun. I'm loving them. Anyway, so I shared these little stamps that I got uh, last week, I think, and I finally got to play with them today. Um, and they're by Barb Owen and she is here. Fun Faces, they're called by Barb Owen, howtogetcreative.com. And she also has um, a YouTube channel and I'll link you to that in the description. Um, so yeah, it was so fun. I, she actually did hers on fabric and then she also has, um, she did use some pencils, Prismacolor pencils, and she has little shading charts and stuff, which is so helpful. Um, for me especially because I'm an old school decorative painter type girl. I like being told where to put my color and what color to use. Well, so anyway, I kind of fudged it and used paint. I ended up, I stamped out the images onto um, watercolor paper and just based it with skin tone and stamped, them, stamped each of the faces out and just played around to see what I would do with them, you know, to kind of see, because she does call them fun faces, and she, like, especially, look at this, OMG, she's adorable. I am going to put her on this wooden button. I had this in my stash. I went digging through my stash and found this, so she's going on here. I'll probably do them tomorrow. We'll see. Kind of have a busy weekend ahead, but um, this one, these were from, and I have the packaging. Did I save it? Oh my gosh, you guys. I just got these at AC, no, Joann's. Mm, yeah, Joann's. I just, they have very little wood anymore, but it's by Darice. It's just craft wood, and these are um, two and three eighths inch pieces of wood, and I just thought that would be a good size. They're actually a little big, um, but what's best, and this um, Barb actually recommended, is a wooden spoon because it kind of gives you that teardrop shape that you need for a face. So, um, that's what I wanted to put them on, but before I did that, I just played around, and I put, like, you know, glittery eyeshadow, and, I mean, I didn't put give her too many eyelashes or anything. Um, this one didn't stamp as well, so I kind of didn't do that one. This one, I think I was ready to go by the time I got, I did these. This one, I kind of played with her shading where she had the shading, but that kind of made her look like she had gels, so I wasn't really pleased with that. Um, I kind of, I tried dry brushing my cheeks, and then I just, I figured it out, and I also had, of course, I used my Martha Stewart pearl paints and stuff, so let me show you what I made. All right, this one's so cute. Oh my God. I think this totally looks like Katy Perry. I think this looks like Katy Perry so much, those big blue eyes. Um, she has names for the other two, and the two I did, I don't think they have names. But this is this one, and I just love it. I just love how it turned out. I didn't put the bottom lashes on it, and I should have. So what happened was, oh, I forgot to tell you that part. I actually traced, okay. I traced the images onto here. See how this is not stamped on there? I traced the image. So I stamped the images onto tracing paper. And then I transferred the image that way so that I could pick and choose what lines I put. So I didn't put like all the wrinkles on her forehead on here. Um, you know, I, I didn't trace the eye on yet because I'll paint that all white first and then add the eye color. Um, so that's what I did on here. So I didn't put all the lines and I did end up, I ended up using three different colors. This is Ceramco paint, Decorart. I have flesh tone, medium flesh, and dark flesh. So that's kind of what I played around with. I think I even put, um, burnt sienna like under the neck to really make that pop. Um, maybe, and then I ended up, um, the line work. Now I think the line work is just the dark flesh. So yeah, so then I just, I just played around. I just painted, um, you know, I had to put, I put glossy accents on their eyes and I didn't put it real thick. I just painted it on. Um, I put my Wink of Stella on the lips cause you know, I try to glam it up a little, little pearl flatbacks with self adhesive stuff. I just stuck it to the side. Their hair is felt. It's just felt that I cut kind of cut the little slits to make it look like hair and glued it on with my Fabri-Tac. I love my Fabri-Tac. 
This is just a piece of that lace trim that you get from AC Moore for a dollar. And I put a little flat back trim around the very bottom to match. And then to top it off, a little flower. And I love it. I wanted to put like a headband, but I didn't know how I was going to be able to do that. Like just a thin piece of ribbon, but I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll be able to maybe do that first before I glue the back on because I put the bangs on first. So that's so cute. Mary, this is, I mean, Barb, Barb Owen. Sorry, I called you Mary. I have so many Marys. Anyway, so cute, Barb. Look at that. All right, and then this one is the other one I did. And she doesn't have a name either. So, but I did the same thing, basically just painted it. Um, put the glossy accents in the eyes, a little bit of sparkle for the lips. Put the pearls for the ears and some trim for the neck again and same thing and then just this sequin um see it almost looks like a hat you know one of those little hats and i gave her blonde hair and i have picked out some i have a couple grays for Ota. she has a name this one she has a name i'm gonna find it her what is her name Odevern, but I have this gray. I think I'm gonna do her hair in this gray, but I kind of like the silver. I think I'm gonna use the silver, and I might give her a bun of some type. I might try to make a bun, so we'll see, because it's on this um, button shape. So we'll see if I can put a like a bun on top of her head. And you know what, because it's a button, I maybe can make some glasses dangle down or something, we'll see. Like, I really liked having the neck to work with, too. Like, I was thinking I could just put a necklace, but then I thought, well, let me put a collar and kind of make it look finished. I just love how they turned out. I love them. They're super cute. I think I'm going to make them into pins. I just love them. So, that is that. Oh, I have this one traced on to this bigger one because I thought this really fit on here nicely. It's the biggest one. So I'm going to play with these tomorrow. I just, I couldn't get it all done. I kept coming in between all the other stuff that was going on all day, doing Easy Bake Oven with Maya and the Jelly Bean Challenge and every other thing. I might post that too. We'll see. But aren't they super sweet? All right, you guys. So that's it. And thank you, Barb Owen, for such sweet little faces. Thanks for watching.